Hi guys! So, I have a book here. It's called Fool's Gold. It's Goofy and Mickey. Look, see there's a moose, some Canadian geese, ducks, and there they are in a little canoe. Mickey Mouse and his friend Goofy were on a fishing trip in Alaska. They found a nice place to camp by a mountain lake. After setting up their camp, Mickey and Goofy went fishing. The fishing was really great. See? They catch some fish. There. <coughs> and that one, there's a rabbit. There's a rabbit watching him cut the wood. There's some geese, and they're eating some dinner. Goofy chopped wood for the fire, and Mickey cleaned the fish. The fish smelled wonderful as they cooked over the wood fire. And they tasted even better. Mickey and Goofy heard the splash of a paddle. Along came an old trapper in a canoe. Howdy, boys, said the trapper. Your supper sure smells good. So, of course, the boys asked the trapper to eat with them. After supper, they sat talking around the campfire. Times sure have changed here, said the camper. In the old days, everybody was looking for gold. Not everybody found it. I was one of the lucky ones. You mean you found gold? cried Goofy. Yep, said the old trapper. He pulled some nuggets of bright rock from his pockets. Lots of gold still in these mountains, he said, up around Twin Peaks. I could find more, but I don't need to be rich. The next morning, the trapper said goodbye and paddled off in his canoe. Mickey and Goofy no longer felt like fishing. They had gold fever. How about paddling up to Twin Peaks, said Mickey. You bet, said Goofy. Before nightfall, they reached a town. It was on a river near Twin Peaks. So you got like, there's a bunch of little houses and trees and boats. And then you got some totem poles and the mountains. It's really pretty. Snow started coming down fast. See, the hardware store, there's a guy pulling a sleigh, there's some huskies, there's a bunch of stuff. And in the one picture you can see they're looking at shovels and boots and lanterns. And they're looking at like flannel and hats and a bunch of camping gear. Snow covered the ground by the time Mickey and Goofy arrived in town. They went right to a warm hotel. The next day, they went shopping. They needed tools for digging gold, and they needed snowshoes and food. <coughs> Soon, Goofy was loaded down with supplies. Mickey rented a dog sled and a team of huskies to pull it. Then off they went over the snowy hills.
At Twin Peaks, they unloaded the sled and began to dig. It was not easy to sink a pick or a shovel into the frozen ground. Before long, Goofy turned up a nugget of bright, shiny rock. Hey, Mickey, look at this, he said. Wow, said Mickey, that's gold. That's pretty awesome, they found gold. The boys worked harder and faster than ever. They filled up two bags with shiny rocks, and then they headed back to town. Proudly, they showed their find to the hotel keeper. Ho, ho, laughed the hotel keeper. That's not gold, that's iron pyrites. We call it fool's gold. Don't feel bad, these rocks have fooled plenty of people. Mickey and Goofy were very disappointed, but they were not ready to quit. So the next morning, they went off to Twin Peaks once more. This time, they walked to a spot closer to town. While Goofy dug, Mickey looked around and he found a cave. Mickey crawled into the cave and lit a match so that he could see. Gold gleamed in the rock. <coughs> Mickey hacked some nuggets of gold out of the rock. Hey, Goofy, he yelled. Look at this. This is real gold. Wow, said Goofy. We're rich. Together they filled two bags with gold, and then they headed back into town. The bags of gold were very heavy. When the boys came to Totem Pole Park, Mickey got an idea. My arms are tired said Mickey. Let's leave the gold inside a totem pole, and we can pick it up later with a dog sled. Okay, said Goofy, and he dropped the bags into an opening. Mickey kept a nugget to show at the hotel. That's gold, all right, said the hotel keeper, but he was wrong. The two strangers heard the hotel keeper, and they began to whisper together. The next morning, the two strangers watched Mickey and Goofy leave the hotel. They watched the boys get on a dog sled, and they followed the boys to Totem, to Totem Pool Park. At first, the boys did not see the other sled. But as Mickey reached for the bags of gold, Goofy saw the strangers coming. Those guys look like trouble, said Goofy. Let's get out of here. The boys leaped onto their sled with the gold. Away they raced. The strangers followed. Up and downhill went the two dog teams. Mickey and Goofy shouted to their dogs. The Huskies did their best, but the strangers were better drivers. The strangers came closer and closer. They're going to catch us, cried, Mo cried Goofy. Throw them the gold, yelled Mickey. Right, said Goofy. The boys began to toss gold nuggets from the sled. The strangers stopped to pick up the gold. Hey, this isn't real gold, said one man. That's just fool's gold. Now the boy sled was much lighter. Mickey and Goofy were raced back on into town, and they returned the sled, packed up, and paid the hotel bill. Then they headed for the dock. The boys got on a riverboat to start the long journey home. 
Wow, what an adventure, said Mickey. Too bad we had to give up all the gold. At least we're safe and sound. And we do have a little gold left, said Goofy. He pulled out a nugget. I guess we weren't meant to be rich, said Mickey. He didn't know how right he was, because that nugget of gold was fool's, was fool's gold, too. The end.